Hi guys, girls and people with alternative pronouns and welcome to Ray's Painting Place and in this episode we're going to start adding some detail to our British Burma infantry figure. Okay, uh, the first thing we want to do is the face. And the first thing we're going to do for the face is the eyes. Now I know that a lot of people don't like uh, to bother with eyes on um, 28mm figs, but I am not one of those people. So, I will be doing eyes. Um, first thing first are the eyeballs themselves. This is in pure white. Uh, I'm going to put a diagram up of where I'm actually hitting the miniature with the paint so that you can see what's going on because obviously this isn't uh, an ideal close-up situation but I am basically going to paint the eyeballs themselves in pure white. Uh, I'm using a, a Citadel fine detail brush for this as it happens but um, anything with a, a nice fine point will do. Uh, Winston Newton Series 7 uh, I quite like too but uh, I know that they're sometimes difficult to get hold of, but these the Citadel brushes are good as well. But there we are. Okay, next thing is the, uh, the pupils and the eyebrows, which are going to be in pure matte black. Uh, I'll put all the, the colour numbers up in the video description, by the way. So don't worry too much about that. So far it's only black and white. Um, the eyebrows, particularly on these British infantry model, are quite pronounced. And they do make quite a big difference. So if you can paint them, um, you'll find that it adds quite a bit of character to the face. I'm sorry I'm doing this upside down, but it's the only way I can get access to the to the bit I want to paint. So now for the pupils. The two eyes aren't quite symmetrical actually, so we might have to tidy that up in a minute. But let's see how we get on with the pupil. Okay. So that's the second eye in, however, I've left it a little bit big, so it looks a bit lopsided. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of medium flesh tone, a little bit of the dark flesh tone, just mix them together because uh, what I'm going to do is try and draw in a line of this flesh tone underneath the eye to try and narrow it to match the two eyes up. If I don't do that, he will look very wonky. That doesn't look too bad at all now. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So that's the eyes. So next stage is uh, the basic highlighting on the face. Um, now, hopefully you've noticed these diagrams that I'm putting up. And um, if you haven't already twigged, the diagrams are showing where I'm actually putting the paint, the various stages, so that you can put the paint in the same place if you can't see what I'm doing, because, you know, we are somewhat limited here. So, okay, first stage of the highlights are medium flesh tone. Uh, I'm going to start off with the nose. 
Got the tip of the nose and the bridge of the nose separately. And the two nostrils separately. If you can, on either side, if you can make, um, if you can make just a little dot of paint on either side. Uh, I think it makes it look absolutely great. It really lifts the face. And then the next thing is a line underneath the eyes and then down along there's usually like a crease line that comes away from the eyes and goes down to the mouth. So you end up with um, like a V shape. So that's one on that side. And one on this side. So again, what we're doing here is we're just hitting the high points with the colour. We're not, we're not going all over the place. We're only hitting the high points. So the top of his nose, bridge of his nose. Uh, I usually like to do the chin sometimes as two dots to give him a sort of dimpled chin. In this case, I'll go straight across the chin there to pick that up. And while we're at it, he's got quite a furrowed brow here. He's worrying about something, probably about getting attacked by Japanese, I would think. So we'll put in a brow line as well, just to make it look like he's worrying. And then lastly for this color for now, uh, his top lip. Now it's not been, uh, it's not been too bad actually. This the 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 washes work quite well here, but a little bit of this medium uh, tone over the top lip there. He seems to be snarling at something. So I want to pick that out in the medium flesh tone to highlight it. And that's what we get. I hope you can see that. Right, next thing to do is the mouth. Um, that's a two-stage thing. First stage is to paint, because he's got his mouth open, is to paint the open mouth with a whole red. Um, now, I find it easier to use the uh, Model Air Hull Red because it's uh, more liquid and it'll flow easier into that uh, gap. But the standard Hull Red is absolutely fine. Uh, you might have to thin it down a little bit to get it to run nicely in there. And then when that's dry, which will take a couple of minutes because it is a bit more liquid, um, then you need to use some off-white to uh, just touch in the teeth because he's got his teeth exposed. Obviously, if you pick a head where his mouth's closed, none of this matters. But uh, with an open mouth, it's nice uh, to just pick the details out. Hull red for the, for the, uh, the mouth as a whole and then pick the teeth out with, um, with uh, off-white. So I'll wait for the whole red to, to dry and I'll paint in the teeth and uh, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Right, so hopefully you could see the uh, the effect of the, the mouth and the teeth. Um, as it turned out, he's only got one top tooth. So never mind, he must have been punched in the face. Um, okay, next thing is to Put the final highlight on, which is sunny skin tone. And that's going into areas uh, underneath his eyes, on the very tip of his nose, uh, on his top lip, only in the middle really, and on the middle of his chin. And the idea here is to not to cover up um, any of the areas that we've done with um, medium flesh tone earlier on 
it's to paint a slightly um, smaller area if possible so there's a little bit of the medium um, the medium skin tone flesh tone showing uh, like I said if possible uh, it, it doesn't matter too much but if you can it'll look so much better um, okay and the last thing to do on the face is just to put a touch of old rose on the bottom lip uh, just to finish it off that looks great okay right now that the uh, face is finished we can use the same principles on the rest of the flesh so we start with um, medium flesh tone and on the muscles of his arms and uh, the backs of his hands anywhere where there's like a, a raised area so the tip of his elbow is always a good spot but any kind of muscle that might be underneath his sleeve there just where that appears anywhere like that and give a touch of medium flesh tone and again on the, on the backs of the hands the tops of the fingers both arms obviously do the legs if he's got shorts on and then follow that with um, a highlight of um, the sunny skin tone uh, just on the very highest areas in a similar way that we did for the face um, so I'll get him and do that and I'll show you the finished result so there we are that's the face complete uh, and the skin tones all sorted um, hope you enjoyed following along to that one um, as ever uh, like share subscribe if you enjoyed yourself uh, if you've got any questions stick it in the comments and i'll get back to you and um thanks very much for watching